So let's start our new project. But before, let's do some house cleaning. Notice that the project panel can really start getting very messy very soon. That's because we start creating compositions, bringing in images and videos that we might or might not use. You know, it's not 100%. So getting a mess here and not knowing what's happening is very easy. The best way is from the start of the project, you start, you know, organizing. To organize, the first way is to start creating folders. You notice here, you have create a new folder. Let's try it. We click and a new folder has been created and is prompting you to write a name. Let's write here company. And then we can press return. And here you are. It's sorted alphabetically. Now I'll select the two files and can create a lasso. Click on one of them and drag them and drop them inside the folder. So it's starting very nicely. Now we want to do another project that has to do with the flood. It's like a news flash. Let's start by creating the folder just now. So we click on the new folder and let's call it flood. And then we need to import a video and create a composition. Well, if you deselect and right click, it's going to import it just over here. Then you have to move them. But there is a better way. If you select the folder itself and press Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac, this is for the import, if you remember, then you can select your video. That's the video. And if you are in 2018, you can start creating the composition because this video is 1280 by 720. If you click import, look, look how neat it has become. The composition and the video have been already placed inside the folder. It's pretty nice to start like this. Fine. So we are ready to start here. Of course, you lock the video so it doesn't move around. I'm going to remove the sound. You see, this is sound off. This is sound on. And we start now laying out our project. Now I have created a new workspace text two where I have the character panel, the paragraph panel, and the align panel visible. This is especially for the course, so I don't disturb you moving around. But it's quite nice. You can create this workspace and save it for you. You know how to create workspaces. It's uh, explained in the beginning of the course. So let's start adding the text and the shapes and the backgrounds that we need. So we'll go for the text tool and we notice we're cool here. Maybe this is too small, right? This is fine. We click over here and we start writing. We want to write for it's flooded by heavy rain. So I will type. You notice that the paragraph is centered. So I will go for the selection tool and move it just over here. Place the text exactly where I want as a lower third. Fine. Let's add more text. But now, you know, you can use control T. Here you are. And you can click to add the other text, which is damaged estimated at 20 million dollars for example you can write whatever you like i press ctrl enter the font is too big so i'm going to reduce it 30 because this is subtitle go for the selection tool you could press v and align these two nicely the way you would like you know make the spacing in between usually that's how it appears on the tv now this text needs a background let's go for the rectangle you can just press q and start drawing the rectangle notice i'm going to start drawing from the outside to the inside we have transparency here if i want to adjust it i press space bar okay that will be cool like this then i need to adjust it under the layers okay the text layers then i'm going to give it some roundness on this side that's why i put these corners out so i will go to rectangle path one and the roundness here let's say 25 will do nicely we click out, not bad. So this is done. Let's go on top here. So we have the place and the time. Usually this is how news go. So I will go for the text tool, control T, click and type, for example, Tanzania. Then go for the selection tool, move it wherever I like. I need to create the background now. So I press Q for the rectangle. You notice how it highlighted. Then I will click and drag and adjust it exactly what I want. Here you are. Not bad. Of course, in the timeline, I need to put it under the words. Good. But now I need to duplicate exactly the same here on this side for the date. So the best way is to select these two layers. Notice if you select the bottom layer first, you have no way to select the top layer. 
So the best way is to select the top layer first and then press shift, select the bottom layer. Now notice here in the timeline what I'm going to do. I will duplicate this layer because I want them identical. So you come in your timeline here, you select the layer. So I'll select shape layer 2 and Tanzania, press Ctrl D and they are duplicated. But it duplicated the text on top of the text and the shape on top of the shape. This is not practical. So you need to move them. So you click and just take them, for example, under Tanzania 2. Here you are. Now you have two of them and then two of them. Cool. Let's select these two, click on the anchor point and just press shift and move them to this side, making sure somehow they are aligned on the border. So now I will select Tanzania 2, double click if I like from here and write August 2045. I'm a bit cool with that. Let's align this in the center because the text is different. So I will align them to the selection here and position them nicely. Now I want to add the top news over here. Press Q to select this shape layer. Notice that if I long click, Q will cycle. That's what's happening here. Press another Q, go to rounded, another Q will go to ellipse and so on. So make sure that you are pressing on the right Q. So I'll click and drag to create a square, fine, and try to position it just under August 45. Here you are, fine. Now I'll need to add the text, go for the text tool or Control T, click here, top, enter, news. It is centered, that's very fine. And then let's put it in the middle, select the second one and, you know, align them very nicely the way we would like. So now we have finished our design here and we're ready to animate. Before you start animating, notice the name of the shape layers. For shape layer 1, 2, 3, this is pretty confusing. So first go ahead and start renaming your layers to make sense for you. So background, you can call it background or BG usually and give it something that is significant to what you're doing. Here I press enter to rename. I will write background lower third. So I will write BGLT. For me, it means something. You can write it in plain English. Then there is another shape layer here. I can see is background for the place. So press enter background place. Then this one is background date. We have two Tanzania. So how about if we rename this layer and call it August 2045. The last one is the background, the square. So we write background top news. Okay. If the names I'm using don't make sense to you, feel free to put whatever you like so it makes sense. But surely, guys, don't leave them, you know, shape layer one, two, three. It will confuse you a lot. The design is done. The anchor points have to be adjusted later on when we are animating. But we can move on. And in the next lecture, I will start showing you lots of tips and tricks to do your animations very fast. I will see you in the next lecture.